Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace your engine ECU in a Saab 93 using the Steribox OBD link adapter and the Trionic can flasher installed in a Windows 7. Let me start by showing you the most important settings that you have to change for that to work perfectly. After connecting the adapter to the car and the computer, turn the ignition on, start the Trionic CAN flasher software, make sure you have Trionic 8 main selected, and hit the Git ECU info button. Next hit read ECU and save the file somewhere. I already created a folder with this car VIN number and I'm just gonna name the file T8 short for Trionic 8 ECU. This step should take around 5 minutes but let me give you some recommendations. First attach the car to a battery maintainer. You can get away without that if you have a strong battery although you run the risk of damaging your car ECU. Or connect another car with the engine running and it will do just fine. Make sure your laptop is connected to a power source and adjust all the settings that could send the laptop in the sleep mode. Next, let's select T8 MCP from the drop down menu and hit read ECU and I will save it under T8 MCP. This stage should take less than a minute and it really doesn't matter if you want to back up the main or the MCP as a first step. I just started with the main because it's the one that I can establish communication with to test my equipment. In these seconds I would like to thank the developers and the people of the forum that stands behind the Trionic can flasher and I will leave links and info in the video description to reach them. By now we are done backing up the old ECU, let's turn off the ignition, disconnect the adapter and swap the ECUs. The most tricky part of this job is to actually unlock these connectors. Watch me carefully and take your time. Note that the two ECUs have different part numbers and they come from two totally different cars. Of 
course, there is another method to swap ECUs in this car. That involves the TIC2 factory scan tool and the TIS axis or any other J2534 tool. I still use the other method in certain situations. When we physically finish swapping the ECU, connect the adapter to both the car and the laptop and turn on the ignition. At this stage, you can try to start the car, but it will not crank due to the wrong immobilizer code in the new ECU. Let's establish communication with the new ECU and notice reading the VIN from the donor car. Now you should select T8 MCP and hit flash ECU then select the T8 MCP file name. This process takes less than a minute, but you must start the flashing sequence with the T8 MCP. Next, let's select T8 main and hit the flash ECU, then select the T8 file name. There will be a confirmation prompt to copy your VIN and key data to the new ECU. Hit yes. This process takes around 25 minutes, which means the total backup and flashing time is around 45 minutes. Now turn the ignition off and disconnect the adapter from the OBD port of your car. By now the car is ready to start. 
However, the first start may take longer than normal. Thank you boys and girls for watching and don't forget if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing. Bye bye.